It's an escape thriller, so how he designs this whole escape plan, which is actually designed by Robin Dharamrat Santino, which is Nasiruddin Shah, who's fled jail 14 times, and uh, how uh, he comes to know that who is behind the whole conspiracy, which is this man called Anirudh Brahmin, and we don't know who Anirudh Brahmin is from the first frame of the film, and he's after Raghu and Tar, and why? how he comes to know and how he reaches Anurudh Brahmi now whether he is himself uh, involved in the con co conspiracy is, is the big question mark so it's an edge of the seat thriller but basically at the, the I mean it's a, it's a love story it's a, uh, because Surur is all about romance so it's a love story of Raghu and Tara with it's, uh, uh, some very very fine music taking the story forward and it's set in Dublin so Dublin if it would have been any other country, it would have been very, very expensive to get those kind of permissions to shoot, which we had in Dublin. And mainly also that we had about 14 hours of light. So we used to shoot from morning 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock. And uh, so we managed to complete the film 35 days and 6 and a half crores. And a uh, lot of workshops and pre-production in terms of at least about 9 to 10 months of planning. And of course, we've used the drone in a very big way, which is... Uh, I think a big savior for uh, filmmakers today because using the drone can be cheap but it gives you that whole look of uh, grand chopper shots which because of uh, permissions usually you can't take in India it was very difficult to get those permissions and the timing and everything so which in Dublin it was like we had permissions and we could really take those grand shots uh, through the drone so it was difficult to shoot from morning 7 to night but uh, things just I mean, that schedule which was very important and integral uh, part of the story so it was it just went out very well. This film um, actually uh, has a very it's a very fast paced film so we didn't have time to spend on the uh, time to spend in terms of screenplay on the establishment of each character you know, you know that okay, if you in, in a character like Robin Darmara Chanti, you know, he's, who's fled jail 14 times and now his quest for life is over and that's why he's spending time in jail and our autobiography is being written on him and he designs this whole escape plan. When you take a newcomer, it wouldn't have been justice to anybody. It would take a lot of time to build that character. But here when you introduce an Asiruddin Shah as Robin Darmara Chanti, you know, it, in just two minutes you know that what he means and he means business. So it was important that these roles of Rajveer Kaul as the Indian ambassador in Dublin, uh, Jishekar Kapoor and Kabir Vedi as an actor, they, 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 I mean, like, right, uh, right casting is half job done. So I mean we needed those people, uh, uh, I mean it, it wouldn't have been made without them. So uh, when Nasir Sahib was uh, sent the script and I requested him to do it and he obliged him. So that was something very gracious of him, same with Shekhar Kapoor ji and same with Kabir ji. So it was, uh, it was a casting coup, but the film is uh, something that, that uh, you know, like, I mean, the, if you, we, we was earlier supposed to use this tagline, though now it's a lethal love story, but earlier the tagline was supposed to be, in their supremacy, he was an extremist. So that was the whole concept. Uh, and so yes, uh, it was, it is a casting coup to get, get them together and it was a learning experience for me to really work uh, with them and um, I'm really obliged and also I'm inspired. nowadays to write any good script it's at least one year to get things right because otherwise you tend to uh, overshoot and so the editing and the pre-production and the planning really takes at least one year if you want to save costs yet give a grand look and uh, uh, we at HR Music were definitely wanting to do something in the whole uh, module of how the words function in terms of the costing that and give a very grand look because I have this uh, experience in terms of production designing and uh, uh, to give a grand look since my serial days when I've been producing serials or producing my videos. So uh, that was something which 
I always wanted to give a good look in the right budget. So it is taking it now is it's ready and we starting from May June because now we can begin begin casting. And in the meantime, we were ready with the script, which and in, we got the right light in Dublin and the permissions and the facilities. And then the cast and everything fell into place. And the big challenge was to find the girl because Surur girls have really, uh, you know, it's, uh, the, the word Surur has been really lucky for. Uh, me as well as it's been lucky for uh, uh, even uh, in the video uh, Deepika was launched so it was very very uh, I mean you know somewhere uh, Surur girls have been really become popular the same way as was with uh, Ansika Mudwani now she was, she's popular she's popular in South so this girl had to be because it's not only just a, a side track of film in terms of the girl is a very important character it's a love story and she had to just carry the songs right <coughs> look right and Tara Bronson Mardia, she's Sena, Shena's Patel's daughter, had to be a good performer but a very stunning looker. So that was also very important. So finally we auditioned a few girls and then finally we got Tara. And again for Raghu's character because there is this whole escape plan and there is this action sequences also in the film. Uh, it was very important that I get into shape. So I had to again completely uh, Abs is naturally is something which is uh, otherwise it takes about six months, but it takes about a year if you have to do it naturally. So stop eating after 8:30 and then also working out every day about about 50-60 minutes and uh, eating right and uh, doing it naturally. So it took a year to get into shape to get the look right, which is nowadays it's again very important. So it took about a year of planning after after exposure, and then I was also busy with my music and films also and my reality show and everything so then finally but the film was shot in one schedule in, uh, between September and Google gave me a lot of training and I think I'm really uh, uh, you know uh, really uh, indebted to him for uh, working uh, you know very patiently in terms of my action sequence but there were some risky sequences so we had to do the rehearsal so I really learned a lot from a person this is a uh, Shot the action sequence as well. Yeah, but nowadays that's why I'm hardly doing any films. I'm actually just wanting to do one or two films so that I can live up to the track record of 658 songs. And this is my 100 film with series actually. 120 films I've completed. So and Sulu was a huge brand, in, so I had to live up to the expectations in terms of music. So now I'm, what I'm doing is just composing about. First I had about 300 tunes, now about 700, 800 tunes, 900 tunes. Then I do my sampling, I call people, I sample and just select 30, 40 again. And then again select the other 8, 10 so that I can live up to the expectations and uh, uh, just be as exclusive as possible. And uh, that's the way I, I can live up to the expectations and meet the expectations because it's, it's very difficult and I don't want to spoil the track record. It's very important. So in music, yes, and again, Bekudi, Mevo, Chan, all are doing very well. And we have, of course, uh, Ozur, uh, Tanahiya, and Assalamu Alaikum retained from the original film. We have the background as the background track in the film, which takes the story. Ozuri was on board from the first day. In terms of, uh, we uh, once the songs and the script was locked, I uh, narrated the plot for him and uh, the things. So. decided uh, on uh, on the music and everything was locked uh, he was on board in terms of and the cost was definitely decided so it was a big task to work it out in, in a particular cost because nowadays it's all about pricing like in, in the trade everyone is this is the new mantra that a good product in a good price is very very important so that was uh, something which we designed and then Dublin fell into place and the supporting cast also uh, you know, uh, really supported in terms of the economics and everything. I mean, the music uh, is it's, it's a very, uh, it's not a big budget film and it's been sold also to the distributors all India at a very, very economical price. So, recovery is not an issue. We, we hope that people like the film because I'm very, very happy with the product. And uh, so, I, I look 
moves forward now because now it's all about word of mouth also. But eventually a film depends a lot on word of mouth and we are confident so we are hoping that 11th March again it works for us. And, and of course the music and uh, the, the zone of the film is definitely but it's a new story that was a story for Rockstar this is a story of an, of an assassin or the next door guy or he's supposed to be a car dealer for the girl or he's supposed to be an assassin for the for the cops so actually we don't know what he's all about so it's this whole intense uh, guy within him which is Raghu and then we come to know what he's all about in the end but uh, in terms of uh, the zone of the film in terms of grand visuals abroad good music a love story with a thriller some action that is definitely there with a completely new reinvented uh, new look of mine and uh, different supporting cast so yes it's in the zone of the film is in the zone of the zone.